we just got a new snowmobile trailer. It's got a fresh deck on it and I don't want to get it all scuffed up. And so I'm going to go through and make some protectors that are going to protect the deck of the trailer for us from these carbides. Um, both of our sleds have got the dual runner carbides and they are just pretty much gnarly as all hell. And anyways, so I'm going to try and save the deck of the trailer a little bit and I'll show you guys what we're dealing with here as far as the carbide. Best I can. Hopefully you guys can see it. I'll get it up here. Look at this gnarly old girl here. Anyway, so that's the carbide on it. Get a little more. Anyway, so, but yeah, I don't want that ripping up the trailer. And so we're going to go through and just make some protectors, like I said. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about here, too. All right, and so here's the new trailer. I got my machine in here already, but so anyways, I've got just kind of some OSB down to protect it from the track and the studs and then up there, back here on the back door, uh, again, just got some little rips of OSB there just so you get some traction and again, protect that door from uh, studs and everything ripping it up. So nothing that's permanent, that'll just be replaceable anyways. And if it ever has to come off, we can do it. But obviously you can get the grooved trays that will hold your carbides and those work well, but they're a little bit of an investment. And the other thing that I've got to deal with is that I've got a fender well in here. Um, so this is a full size axle on this trailer. And so it's got a decent sized wheel on it. And so the wheel well comes up in the trailer a little bit and you got to drive over it. And so I just thought it'd be a lot easier to make some sort of protector for the ski instead. So that way it can go on whatever snowmobiles are coming in here. So that's what we're going to do here today. And the gist of the idea here is I've got some two inch PVC pipe and I'm going to rip that down with a table saw. And then I'm going to have two halves that I'm going to cut up into lengths. And then I'll have those halves that will slide over those runners now. So I'll go ahead and get this piece of pipe in, uh, in the old table saw here and we'll get it ripped down. Take a measurement here, how long I'm going to need these things to be. So the end of my carbide. My plan is to hook them up here at the front ski loop. I think I'm going to want 32 inches. Probably going to hear it in the comments for not wearing a respirator. <laughs> Said respirator, not radio. So there's my first two prototypes. Now I'm going to drill some holes here, just in the middle of what would be the front, or front. The only thing that's going to designate the front is where I put the hole. But, and then I'm going to have some little hooks that are going to go in hooky. I'll show you in just a minute. I'm going to get some holes drilled in this thing here. Whoa! Okay. 
And I got these little hooks here. And those will just go through here. And then I think I'm going to crimp them so that way they don't come out. Might make those holes a little bigger too. I think my hole's a little bigger. Like yet. Yeah. See, and then go like yet. Yeah. Like yet, yeah, right there. Try and show you guys here what I'm talking about. Let me give this guy a little crimpy crimp here. There we go. Like that. That's just gonna hook. And then I'm gonna put this in the vise and I'm gonna bend a 90. Or I'm gonna nine, not bend a 90. I'm going to bend this 90 degrees here. I'm gonna try to see how hot I can do with that. Range for you guys here. Maybe I should have did that first. A. Eh? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here, 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 here we go. Here we go. Let's see. I'm just gonna bend this guy here. Mm-hmm. Heavily molested hook. Okay. So then that's gonna come up. Oops, sorry. It's gonna come up and hook on the ski loop. I hope. I might have to nip that. Nip that just a little bit. Or I could trim these for ergonomics. Ooh, tippy nippy. Yeah, 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 I know. Respirator, respirator, respirator. Respirator, respirator, respirator. Bingo! Bingo! Man, that works good. I hope. So that works pretty slick, huh? Now I'm gonna go ahead and just make another one of those. I've already got it made. I'm just gonna trim it up and put the hook in. So, they may not be the prettiest things, but they're going to save the old trailer, I hope. we got to try them out now. So, let me get the uh, trailer here pulled around, and let's see if we can get this thing loaded up.
pretty much slicker and shit right there. I gotta trim up those ones I put on my sled over there. Those are kind of just some temps. But you saw me pull the old saber tad in there. And uh, yeah, very pleased with those. I think they're gonna do the trick. And hopefully that'll give somebody else maybe some ideas uh, if you're kind of in the same boat where you just want a little protection and not looking to retrofit your entire trailer to be dedicated to a couple specific sleds and this probably work for about anything. So thanks for watching.